Hi everybody, this is Debbie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a trash video. I'm not going to be talking trash, but I'm going to show you some products that I've tried to save over the last, this is probably maybe two months. Um, there's some skincare and a little bit of makeup. Let's get started and I'll let you know if I liked it, if I buy it again. And let me just fix this. I'm trying to get my lighting a little better over here. Okay, from the top, I find this product by Living Proof. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Now, I don't like this as much as I love my beloved Batiste, but I would purchase this again. I like this size. I got this in a um, my birch box, and it was really perfect. Uh, for me. Um, I'm trying to think of how many shampoos I use. I don't remember because it's been a while, but this is really a nice product. It doesn't have cause that buildup on your scalp where you feel like you've got like a little, like a little scaly buildup and you want to pick at it. It doesn't cause my scalp to be itchy. Nothing. Just really nice product. It isn't better than my my Batiste than the Batiste that I like to use but it is nice and it the scent is gone but it has that scent that the Living Proof products have it doesn't bother my asthma or anything uh, but if you're a person that you don't like scents then I wouldn't recommend this if you don't care and if if it you know it dissipates so if that's not a problem then I would recommend it okay I'm just gonna like reach in because I got quite a few things all right this is the Kiehl's super multi corrective cream Maybe it'll no it's better there this was another um, birch box you see I did the whole thing birch box uh, sample that I received I have to tell you just a mini story about this I really like this product but it kind of burned my skin when it first went on not a burn but more like a tingle but the problem was is I was putting this under my eyes for some reason I read it as super multi corrective eye cream and I used it all up I put it in the garbage bag that I keep my empties in and I was some thumbing through a magazine and this popped up and so I read more about it and I was like oh no this was supposed to be for all over the face um, so I can't really tell you if I'd buy it again because I didn't use it in the right um, way I can tell you that it did help my under eyes feel moisturized but it was a little too strong for me I had to really go very very tiny tiny bits under my eye and tap it and be very careful um so that's the keel super multi-corrective cream which i used in the wrong way okay take this sheet mask out here these are the new uh sheet max masks that have come out by garnier skin active this one that i got is the moisture bomb and it's the super hydrating mask glow boosting I have used I think only this one yes this is the only one that I've used and I really liked it um, I found that after I took my mask off I like to take the sheet and just kind of rub it all over into my skin and all over my my neck and my decollete and then I just let it air dry it did a really nice job uh, as far as did I see a glow afterwards not really but it did moisturize my skin so I would recommend that here we go, Batiste, and uh, it's always a winner for me. I really like this. This one is the Clean and Classic Original. It does have a little scent, but it doesn't bother me. But I think that you can, um, they do sell them unscented. And they also sell, the, sell them if you have very dark hair uh, for brown hair, and that works. But uh, if, when I used to have my darker hair, I bought that and used that, and I liked it. But for some reason, I just like the original the best. Okay, CeraVe, the AM Facial Moisturizing for Normal to Dry Skin. My skin is pretty normal. Um, right now I've got a little sweat on my uh, forehead, so it might look oily, but it really isn't. Um, but I 
really like this product. It's very nice. I found a new product that I am using and I like it a little better, but I would say this would be great if you're having problems with your skin and you want to like a, the initial step to using something that has a little bit more uh, of like anti-aging ingredients. Now this one has the um, ceramides which are really good when you have rosacea or dry skin. It's non-irritating. It has uh, niacinamide, which is also good for redness, and hyaluronic acid, which keeps the moisture in your skin. Um, the one that I'm using now is like a step above that, and I'll be doing a current skincare video um, pretty soon. But I, yes, I would recommend that. And I actually do have a bottle for when my skin is maybe a little irritated and I don't want to put anything really strong and I put some of that. And it's a great um, uh, SPF is 30. It could be 50. That would be better. But this works for me. I don't really get any of the dark spots when I use that. Now this is the PM CeraVe and this has uh, ceramides also, also niacinamide and the hyaluronic acid. This is a very good product and this is very good. Um, I would purchase it again. Like I said, I'm using something new that I, right now I think I like it a little better, but for a beginner, not a beginner, but for someone that's like trying to use some anti-aging ingredients, those two are really good to start with. Okay. This is a, um, Yes, it's a dry shampoo by the company Amica, and it's the Silken Up. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the dry conditioner. This was um, pretty good. Would I use it again? It. I don't have like a memory of it being that great, so probably not. I do like this brand though, Amica. The packaging is really cute, but the ingredients and the products are really nice. I've used other things that I've enjoyed, and. Um, Blue Mercury sells Amica, if you're wondering, or just online. This is my Japanese Cherry Blossom. There's almost always uh, one or two bottles in a uh, empties video. I love this. This is my signature scent. It, I have at least one big bottle on my um, dresser at all times, and I have one in the bathroom. Really love it. And people always give me compliments on it when I wear it, which is most all the time. Okay. Here are some aromatherapy shower tablets um, that I purchased from Ulta. And they're just the Ulta brand. Mm -hmm. This was the Lavenders and Berries. And I wasn't very impressed with these. Uh, I was expecting the whole shower just to smell like lavender and berry. And it really didn't. Uh, you have to use one or two at a time and four come in here come in here and you just like put it on the shower or on a shelf not where the direct water will hit it but where wa some water will hit it and then it's supposed to it like melts and it's supposed to just really make your shower and bathroom fragrant but i didn't find that it did that for me so no i wouldn't purchase them again this was a weird product it um is I believe a, a type of uh, yes Korea a s Korean skincare and it's the strawberry nose three-step blackhead remover and it's by the country the country it's by the brand the cream shop or the creme c-r-e-m-e -E shop and it's like the one step and then you do this and do it. it takes a long time to do this and to be honest with you I didn't think it really helped my nose to look like any little blackheads were removed. I don't have that many, but I wanted just to try it, and it was kind of a dud for me. And and I like the the strips by Biore where you put them on, you leave them on for like ten minutes or fifteen. You take it off, and they do a good job, and it doesn't take so long. It's like it takes like ten minutes, and this is twenty, and this is like ten. Just way too long, and. Not that I don't have the time, but it just wasn't, um, didn't do what I wanted it to do. Okay, here is a product that, first time that I tried these, and these, um, these are by Ulta Beauty, and they are the premium pillow cotton pads. These are a dupe to me of the uh, Shiseido cotton. 
the Shiseido cotton um, pads are slightly bit softer but these worked really nice and I believe it was Lulu Beauty that she talked about these and so I picked them up and I will put her channel down below and if I ever miss putting something down below just shoot me a message or a comment and tell me and I'll, I'll do it this is the Garnier um, Skin Active my cellular cleansing water this is my favorite cleansing water most always I use this as my first step in double cleansing and absolutely I would buy it again and it does a great job at least on me taking off my makeup now we're getting down to some little things Let me grab something a little bit bigger okay this whoop. This is by R & Co, and it's called Oblivion, and it's a clarifying shampoo. Got this in a beauty box, and I really like this. Now, clarifying shampoos, shampoos, <laughs> shampoos, <clears throat> excuse me, you can't use them every day, or they'll strip like your color, but they're good to use maybe once a week or every other week, just to get out anything that's built up like um, hairspray or maybe some deep conditioners that kind of stayed on your scalp. I really like this and I would purchase this again and I did see this Iron Co at Blue Mercury all right this is the Derma E purifying two-in-one charcoal mask and I really really like this I did not use it all over my face but I used it on my nose and it it was really nice it really just made my nose just look so like clear not that I have a lot of things going on there but sometimes I'll get a couple blackheads and this was really nice the only thing I would say is if you have sensitive skin like I do um, just be careful how long you leave it on I mean don't leave it on more than like 10 minutes because it'll irritate your skin a little bit all right this is the hey honey take it off exfoliating honey peel off mask now as far as, as exfoliating I don't remember this being you know really special but it did make my skin feel very soft after I used it unfortunately there wasn't it wasn't filled up all the way like a lot of these little tiny samples are and I only used this one time I would have liked it to be filled up all the way so that I could get at least two masks out of it but um, I would probably purchase it um, not for the exfoliation but just that it made my skin soft all right this is by L'Oreal and it's the Revitalift eye cream it's probably hard to see that is the light there that's better this is a nice product um, I left it a little tiny bit because I just got tired of using it Um it wasn't the best for my eyes but I think if you maybe are a bit younger than me um, I'm 53 years old and you don't have you know any lines under here it's kind of like a good first step I think maybe if you're in your 30s and you don't have anything and anything you don't have any problem areas underneath the eyes but for me I'm not very wrinkled but I need a little bit something a little more powerful but not too powerful so for me I wouldn't purchase it but it would be good for others this is the prosacea I've talked about this before it's the prosacea medicated rosacea gel this is really nice it it works really good if you don't have a prescription for something from your dermatologist this is a really nice pro prescription well, product to use um, I have used this along with the prescription that I have and I like to use it when my skin gets um, like starts to get pink when I know it's gonna turn redder especially like my chin very very good and if you are breaking out a little bit because I still tend to sometimes get little tiny pimples they're not real big ones but once in a while and these are really good this is really good to use if you're breaking out all right this is the parlor by Jeff Chastain and it's the touchable curl cream very small I had to read it down below first this was really nice um, I used this right after I wash my hair and I just kind of scrunch my hair a little bit and let it air dry it doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy it was very soft now I have natural curly hair I've straightened it today but um, this was really nice and it helped like the texture to not be frizzy more and then we're done 
Alright, this is the color tattoo by Maybelline. In the past, these were, you see, mine dried up. I don't know, I guess I've tried better products now. A few years ago, these were all the rage here on YouTube. I remember maybe about four years ago, people were buying them every color. But now other companies are making things like this, and they work better, to be honest. So I didn't even finish it. As you can see it just it dried up and I always put the cover on my product so it wasn't that so I'm sorry Maybelline but I won't buy that again another little tube of rosacea this I used up today it's by Amica which is this same product as this uh, conditioner I showed you this is a product that I really like it's the bombshell blowout spray I wanted to make sure I read it all. And it makes your hair, as you can see, very shiny and soft. And it was very easy to dry my hair. It didn't get all frizzed out. Usually I let my hair air dry, but when I want to straighten it, I will blow dry it. And this was a really nice product to use. All right. Another, here's a benefit product. It's the Gimme Brow. I really like this one. It has a really tiny little brush to get right in there to those little hairs. And my color, just for reference, was three. And um, after I use some products that I have, I probably will purchase this. A couple more. Most of them are just little tiny. All right, I'll do these two um, at a time. The Anastasia Brow Wiz is really nice. I like it a lot. But there are products that you can use if you are on a budget or you just don't want to spend 20 21 I think it is but it is nice I like that it has a spoolie I like that it has I've used it all but it has a very thin tip and you can just get in there it's very nice but there are like drugstore products that I think are comparable now this Anastasia um, brow that I bought um, this was the first time I use this this is the brow defender or definer and this is the one there's a a little bit bigger spoolie and if I have any more no this is the one that's angled I really didn't like this even though I used it all no you know what happened I this cracked like right in the middle so I there was like half of it that I couldn't use but I didn't mind because I was glad that it would be over soon because I really didn't like this just I didn't like the angle I prefer like a smaller tip like the Brow Wiz has or some of the products that I've used. This I just put in there yesterday and it's the Roller Lash by Benefit. I like this. It's, it's a good mascara. I would use it again. Um, it has like a curved wand. Uh, there's just a little bit left in it, but it is like three months. And I like to abide by that rule with mascaras. They're so close to your, you know, your eyeballs. I don't want to take a chance and not you know, using one that was older. I'm just dropping things. <laughs> this is by Marcel, which is, I believe, a Canadian company. And it's the 3-in-1 Micellular Gel Eye Makeup Re Remover. I didn't like this. This burned my eyes, and I didn't understand because it's supposed to just be my micellular alone water. And when I use the Garnier one never burns my eyes. So I don't know, they must have some, ingre some ingredient here that I'm allergic to, so no, I wouldn't purchase that. All right, this is the Good Genes Lactic Acid Treatment by Sunday Riley. I'm trying to get, there we go. This is a really nice product. I wish that the sample size was a little bit more. I tend to get like, they look like milia, but I'm not sure that they're milia, they're, they, they're like, they look like whiteheads, but they're really hard. You can't pop them because they're tiny, tiny, tiny cysts. But I notice what I'm currently using now, it's helping to get rid of some. And you can't really get rid of it with like a topical ointment. So I'm thinking what I have is part of my lupus rash that looks like milia. But this really helped to get rid or like kind of reduce some of it. And I had like a little pimple around here and this really helped to heal it too. Um, the price point is quite high. I think it's like 125. But if you are a person that you do break out a lot and you are looking for something that's really good, I would recommend this. I think with skincare, if you find something that really meets your needs, 
try to budget, put it into your budget, like maybe go for coffee less, uh, go to Dunkin' Donuts instead of Starbucks for your regular coffee. I, I don't know, just different ways of trying to find room for your budget. And one of them is skincare. Now, I don't always use really high-end skincare, but what I use has good ingredients. But if something like this would work for me if I broke out all the time and it helped to get rid of it, I would try to fit it in and purchase it. But that's just me. Okay, here's another mascara, and this is the Laura Geller Glam Lash. It's supposed to be dramatic, volumizing mascara. I love Laura Geller, and she's a sweetie too. I love her products, but this didn't really do much for my lashes. I kept trying to, you know, to make them look longer and fuller, but it just was kind of eh. I've used drugstore brands that have been better, so sorry, Laura Geller. All right, this one I think is the last. Yep. This is a mask that I used, and it's by Aveen, A-V-E-N, and it's the Soothing Moisture Mask. This was really nice. Um, I left this on for about 10 minutes, and then I think this is the one, I don't think you peel it off, you rinse it off. It was very good for moisture on my skin. Um, only thing is more in the sample sizes so that we really can get you know we can really get to know the product and know if we really want to buy it and then we'll buy a full-size product but that's just my little kind of shout out to any companies not that they know me but maybe you know them and you can tell them who knows well anyway that is it for my empties um of uh we're in August of 2017. I was forgetting. I was thinking it's September, almost September before you know it. I hope that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below for me. And if you haven't subscribed and you're liking what you see, uh, there's the subscribe button around here. And don't forget, if you subscribe to click that, <clears throat> excuse me, click that little bell and then it'll give you the um, send you the emails or whatever you set up for notifications. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.